What's up guys, it's your boy Little Bit back again with another video and in today's video I'm going to be showcasing my season 5 loadouts. It's a really highly requested video from you guys and the last time I made this video was back in season 2. But if you, as you guys know the season, the, um, the meta has been completely the same. Uh, there's some minor changes here and there but season 5 there's some some things that are changed here and there and I want to showcase to, to you guys. But yeah, uh, basically it's going to be a simple video of just me showing my classes and attachments for all my uh, all my classes and my perks. But if you guys like the video, don't forget to drop a like, drop a sub. Also, don't forget to press the bell icon for future videos and live streams. And let's get right to the video. All right, starting off with my number one class, it's the new season five new weapon, FFAR. Always got to try it out. FFAR, in my opinion, is got to be close to top five. It's really good in close to medium range gunfights, but not really effective in the long range gunfights. But it's fired is really insane. So here's the class you guys should try out. Uh, you guys always request for my Renetti class because Little Beast Renetti just hits different. Here, here it is. Uh, it's really good at hip firing and really good at ADSing at the same time. One burst potential. Uh, so skin don't matter. Usually I run the Rose Rook skin because it's harder to see. And mostly the time I use the Annihilator perks, most broken one. Uh, it respawns. I always run a grenade uh, for lineups and smoke grenade to uh, help my positioning. And I always rank, now that I don't play scrims that much, I play UAV, Advanced UAV, and uh, um, Swarm for the best perks, uh, for the score streaks and the perks. All my perks for respawns are mostly going to be lightweight, um, toughness, and dead silence. Those are just my typical perks. Second is going to be uh, CBR. Here's a CBR class, literally the best gun in the game, and it's been for a while now. Here's the class for it, if you guys want to give it a shot. Um, uh, with this, the only difference is the Skulker perk, because I love ADS walking, playing like a rat with the uh, CBR. Third one's gonna be uh, Locust. Everybody loves the Locust skin nowadays, uh, especially the Electron. And Locust has a really high mobility and really, if you want aggressive snipes, the Locust is the best way to go. Here's the class for it. Uh, but for snipers, I typically run Deagles with my secondary. Here's my Deagle class for it. Pretty good balanced Deagle, really good accuracy and pretty um, good fire rate for Deagle. And in SD, I also run the trophy system, so I don't get naded in SD because nade lineups are really important in SD, so gotta counter those. Nothing else important. Same thing, Kilo. Kilo is probably the second but, uh, second best gun in the game right now, especially when it got buffed for season 5. It's over the LK. I'm pretty sure that this is over the LK, uh, but here it is. Um, and yes, everything else is the same. Uh, number five, instead of using the HDR on my last video, now I use the right tech now, right tech. I, I've been loving using the right tech with the ACOG. Really nice. You guys should try it out for sure. It's really aggressive. And also you can spam with it because the right tech doesn't have a bolt action. Um, same as the Deagle. Everything is else the same. Number six is going to be the Krig. Had this in my previous video. Uh, I think this is my opinion, the best Krig class out there. Uh, Krig has, unless you don't have the, if you don't have the Mythic Krig, I don't think Krig is in the top five at all. But if you have the Mythic Krig, it's a contender to the top five guns in season five. Here's the for it. Uh, what else do we have? Number seven, uh, DLQ. I've been loving the Legend uh, Mythic skin. Here's my DLQ. I kind of use it here and there, not much anymore, but um, more towards the HDR and uh, whatever, uh, the right tech. But uh, there it is, nothing else. Uh, eight SKS. This is, in my opinion, the best SKS. This is given by Space, the number one SKS player in the world. Here it is. But uh, Renetti, everything else is the same. Uh, new one. Probably the best LMG in my opinion, unless you're a Holger bot and don't know anything about the Holger. This is probably the best LMG in the game right now. So for sure, try this LMG. Classic. I've shown in my previous videos and a lot of people loved the UL build I had. So here it is if you guys are interested. And finally, uh, the full mobility build. So instead of running um, lightweight and um, toughness, I run Gung Ho and Skulker for full mobility. Uh, Purify is really good with Gung Ho because you, don't, you can just run and use it at the same time. And here's the Switchblade because it's probably one of the, the second best SMG right now in the game behind the Fennec. Uh, two closest I want to give a uh, two close two more builds I want to give you guys is the LK. I switch it off each with the number one slot. So here's my number one LK class. LK is part of the third best a second best AR or the third best in my top five list. My LK build really accurate, really good BSA, and uh, only flaws as less mobility. And you guys always requested it. The number one everybody in the pro scene in Garena and China are using the Fennec. Here's the Fennec build. Um, 
really interesting how they're using the Fennec. It's just full on, just push, push, push. And recently I've been using the Fennec and I've actually been liking it. I don't know what it is, what it is, but it's pretty fun to use. But yeah, uh, that is my that is my all my class setups for season uh, season five. And hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to drop a like, drop a sub, and yeah, let me know in the comment section below any content idea I should create for you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one.